on degrees today. Right now you're at 64. We're at 72 in Islip, 75 in Bridgeport. But the inland numbers are the ones that are the warmest. We're at 82 in Poughkeepsie, same number in Sussex, and Newark Liberty Airport is at 85 at this late hour. Dew points are pretty impressive too, mostly in the 60s, approaching 70 degrees. And when we get this high in the dew point scale, that's when it gets to be sticky and uncomfortable across the region. And that's going to be the case as we go through the day tomorrow, folks, but there will be relief as we go into the end of the week. We're not the only ones baking here. Out to the west, we have readings in the 80s in Williamsport and Pittsburgh and even out towards Detroit. Philadelphia is checking in at 83 degrees and our nation's capital is in the mid-80s as well. All right, our satellite radar is showing that it's relatively quiet across the immediate tri-state area, but there is a disturbance coming out of the Great Lakes right now. A line of showers and storms is moving across central New York, and it is approaching our area. I think a lot of this will weaken before it reaches us, but we could squeeze out a couple of isolated thunderstorms in the Hudson Valley tonight, and some of them could be strong, so you may hear a rumble of thunder or two, especially after midnight. Now, this line will kind of weaken itself out, and by tomorrow, things will be much quieter, but then we have a frontal system that we're going to watch to hover over our area probably uh, late tomorrow night into early Thursday. So you can see the showers and storms passing through the Hudson Valley tonight. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, we'll see lots of sunshine, but the clouds will build in across the area, and we'll be a mix of sun and clouds throughout much of the day. And as we go into Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we have a front that's going to be pushing through the area. So I think after midnight on Wednesday, we do have a better shot of some rain showers, and they will be here for the morning commute on Thursday. Could get an isolated thunderstorm as well, and then that front will suppress everything to the south by Thursday night. Behind the front, it turns much drier and cooler as we go into the week we get some relief. Isolated thunderstorm possible tonight. Overnight lows pretty muggy and mild. Then tomorrow, sunny clouds, it'll be hot and humid. Expect temperatures around 90 degrees in many locations, and there will be the chance of an isolated storm, but I think most of the action will happen during the overnight hours into Thursday. Thinking about going to the beach for some relief? Wear your sunscreen. It's going to be very high in the UV index, but it'll be a 9. The rip current risk it will be moderate tomorrow, so be careful if you go in the water and wait for it to be at 3 to 4 feet with a northwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So our showers to start off on Tuesday, excuse me, Thursday, and then we'll clear it out. It looks drier as we go into Friday and Saturday. Temperatures will drop into the 70s as we go into the weekend. And then next week we'll throw back in a chance of afternoon showers and storms. But tomorrow will be the hottest one of the next seven, and then we'll get some relief. Just in time for the weekend. Pretty good overall. Martha Yardry, Russ.